Good day everyone. I was thinking today what kind of video should I do? I know in one of my cross stitch video I did or diamond painting video I told you that Thursday will be unboxing and I can't decide what to do diamond painting or cross stitch so I decided to do mix. We will have two canvases of cross stitch and two canvases of diamond painting. And this unboxing from Everyday e Crafts, as I told you in my first video, part number one. If you mix, if you miss that video, please check it out as well. Uh, I did have a big package, so I have to kind of separate and create few videos for you. And last time we did unbox with you, we reviewed this canvas, and I actually trying to. I will start on it. As many whip as I have, I don't have nothing for Valentine's Day and the holiday approaching really, really fast. So I think I will be starting on this one. And this is the Everyday Crafts and we review with you in part number one, this canvas. As much as I am not big fan of these characters, but because it's a Valentine and Catherine love it as well, I will be starting on this one. So this is a cute, I love the colors in here. So it should be fun to work and comment if you wish to have a weapon chat together with me. We will do that. And today we will start, I think we will start from diamond painting first and then we will see what else I have. This is two little canvases and I still have uh, four or five, I think. I still have a few more diamond paintings and we will create in my next video and I would love to hear from you if you like mix video with both of the crafts like this or you prefer to actually separate them and uh, you know to have a just a cross stitch or just a diamond bean then it's kind of important for me to know so I don't mix it anymore so please let me know now in my video number one I was hoping to get both of them but here it is uh, another princess we have in here and this is who is this Cinderella who's no who is this um Yeah, I think it's Cinderella, right? Uh, last time we have with you Ariel, the mermaid, and this is the second canvas. So there's the two princesses that I decided to review for you. Usually it's not my type of diamond paintings to review because I don't have a little tiny kids anymore for those princesses. But I ask you and you told me that that would be nice because lots of you have a little tiny grandkids lots of little kids and you would love to see this kind of videos review so here it is if you want to see the mermaid in my first video please check it out and here is the cinderella which she looks beautiful in her dress in here she's dancing probably nice colors uh, as like close enough because this is 30 by 40 centimeters if face look very pixelated to me if we look kind of close to the camera right it's kind of hard to see what is going on but from far when you put this picture on the wall i think it looks really good from far of course it will be better this kind of canvas in a bigger size um and just a little tiny face in here so how much you will see like not much to see and with diamonds you can't really create as much as you would do like in cross stitch but after all i think they are not bad because they do look good from far so those two princesses you can definitely see if uh, there's something that your kids will like to have in their bedroom you can check it out website and i will link it up everything for you we have 22 colors in here with this toolkit we have pen wax tray one placer so no special tools no extra uh, the good thing is it's all already pre-packed into the ziplock bags so here's the kind 
kind of you can see all the colors in here so I will not open I kind of like the way they pack in those diamonds in the uh, Ziploc bags I don't like to open them uh, as many times as I open I did not have any like a shortage of the bags they usually pack in nicely and always a completed set um, I don't think I have any bags that was missing lately they, they doing a good job and the canvas print <clears throat> kind of dark this uh, purple colors dark you might well have to uh, use light oh, hold on just a minute let me find the focus clarity of the sample is a symbol is good it's just a little bit dark looking from far away if you have a light pad no problem or just sit close to the window and you will be safe all right so this is one little tiny canvas well half tiny it's not very tiny 30 by 40 centimeters sometimes it's take me uh two or three three days sometimes even longer if i'm not in a rush and just enjoying it slowly so here is this is could be special gems because i know i have some with special gems and this is definitely one of them special gems canvas and this is one of those trees i have many of different trees with different colors and here it is another tree let me okay it's a very little stiff canvas we will try to get at least a little bit air bubble out and maybe we will straighten before it's closed back on us hold on i will be so we put this piece of paper flat and tight this kind of straighten up the canvas a little bit better so it's not flipping backwards one more time canvas itself very very glittery i like that Canvases are so much nicer these days than it was four years ago or five years ago when they just started to produce now just the clarity so nice the symbols so clean and the specks of glitter they always make me happy here at this you can see the quality of the canvas through maybe we can feel a little bit just so we don't have too much of the glare you can see how nice and sparkle that canvas is with the glitter symbols very nice clear okay so with the sparkle canvas we have wow we have actually 20 colors in here well it's not exactly will be 20 colors because this kind of canvases have different shape <clears throat> no sorry not shape well maybe shape as well but the size of the diamonds could be from two millimeter to four and six because uh, they're using a different size of the same colors so let's see what we have in here and of course we will open this one let's keep it in here so you kind of still see this image and we will see the gems what kind of gems in here toolkit same one yeah so in here looks like this one maybe four millimeters and then we have 2.5 yeah oh well diamonds and we have a regular diamonds in here as a just a oh, white and black we have regular diamonds in here i don't think this is glow in the dark is it just, no i think it's just a white i was trying to bring it close to my face to see if it's gonna glow 
so we have a big uh, bag of black diamonds now when we see in a gems canvas black diamonds they are not your regular black diamonds to ten as you know with the regular diamonds they usually resin diamonds and they are much more better quality and like more shiny and then we have some gold that's the white one I thought maybe it's glowing but it's not so all this 2.5 millimeter rhinestones and then from here we have a bigger size and you can see the difference on the size so definitely I think this one is a 4 or maybe even 6 millimeter. I'm not sure. Maybe 4. So all this is bigger one. So it's just the same shape but different size in gems. Okay, so this was our two diamond pinkins for today. And now we will see with you some cross stitch. First canvas, well, we have in here two canvases that is uh, birds. And I will show you, I don't know, I like birds. And I decided to show you today two of the birds. They are small canvases, very, would be fun to finish quick. If you don't like bigger canvases, that's what I kind of wanted to review for you. Something small that you would be interested in. Here it is. Very cute bird with cherries. Those cherries look so nice and juicy. Here it is bird. We can see that we have a lots of backstitch in here. On the bird, on the basket, on the leaves, outline and cherry. So definitely lots of, ooh, lots of, lots of backstage. Look at that. Yeah, if you don't like backstage, this is maybe not for you. But at the same time, you don't have to stitch backstage all the time. It will be still look good. It's just not as sharp image as you would like to have. You know, the pattern in here is just on a one flip page, very nicely printed. And in here, I want to see, okay, first we'll see birds and cherries, that's what image call, 22 by 27 centimeters, and fortune count Ada. And we do have in here 38 colors, which I think it's a great amount of colors in here, and four colors in backstitch. Let's see, look how cute and tiny canvas, look at that. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. This is so little. Look at that. You think you would stitch this in one week maybe? Or even faster? Because if in stitches, let's see, they say in here or no, how many stitches? 94 width and 118, no, 111 high so that's not not much in here really plus it's partial so you can stitch this really quick this is very cute little canvas looks very colorful but you know what there is not really no confetti area everything is making a sense all those colors connect kind of with each other canvas printed looks good to me what do you think? Symbols in here, can we read numbers? I think we can. Canvas already treated as always on the bottom so you don't have to worry. See, nicely done. I love Joy Sandy canvases. And then we have in here, let's see what kind of threads in here. 
looks like a lots of threads in here well just because it's lots of colors so maybe you need so mostly in here look at that just like a one one thread of each color in here some of them have two mostly it's a one color of each color so lots of colors but not too much of the threads so here there's the colors of it nice and happy colors for the cherries yeah and of course as usual we have two needles okay do you prefer bigger canvases or smaller canvases comment below I would love to hear how many of you love huge canvases as I do and how many of you like to work on tiny when I'm tired to work on big canvases then I jump into my smaller whips and that's what kind of fun because you kind of like relaxing with the big canvas you have to have a lots of room on your table uh, and not always everybody have a lots of room available so with this kind of stuff this tiny one it's just so relaxing you can literally sit on your sofa and watch tv and stitch because you don't have to count nothing so look at this cutie this is so cute i love it uh this one says autumn, autumn bird which is fall time bird has some um, hmm what kind of berry or nuts she has on her head 14 count ada 17 by 20 centimeters this is super tiny also have a back stitch uh, what kind of berry also like an apple or some kind of nuts chestnuts maybe what's on her head because I assume it's a her because she decorated herself isn't she cute look at those cute little eyes leaves beautiful color and yes the uh, backstage lots of backstage in her belly like to you know to make a fur not a fur feathers <laughs> and outlining leaves but this image much more smaller than the other one and how many colors we have in here oh there's some more stitches in here uh different stitches variety we have is this one so we have in full stitch 17 colors then we have a french knot in one color which will be for the eyes those white dots that's going to be two french knots you can create as a full stitch you can put two white seed beads if you don't want to do a french knots but two I'm sure you can create two and then we have a back stitch in four colors and also we have a half stitch in five colors so my guess is half stitch probably go like for the sky for the bottom of the feet probably let's see yes uh, on the bottom of the feet kind of like on a sky those splashes of colors bird itself doesn't have a half stitch so it's only like for the background and the back of the leaf yeah you can see all this kind of like a dots you know this red and here is outline and all this thing and on the bottom in here in here in here and here and that background up there that's the half stitch so this is even much more faster you can complete then I thought would be wow that, that's cute that's very cute I, I love this bird she's so adorable and look at this look at this by the size of my hand look how tiny <laughs> it looks so tiny oh my goodness this is so cute pastel colors for the print not as bright but every single color visibility is really good oh my god this is a, like a cherry on the top of the cake this is it's like really relaxing canvas to work on and don't afraid of backstage 
backstage create your canvas looks so much better but it's so tiny you can stitch this very fast plus we have like a big patch of this green color that's go on the belly and the same color go for the two of these big leaves so you just wow that's a big patches so is a pink up there and blue everything in patches it will be so easy to stitch lots of half stitch which is double speed of your stitching what do you think that's cute and then in here I show you a half stitch uh, French knot back stitching symbols right in here and full stitch in here so with this we have two needles yes we do and basically one or two threads we have one two well here a yellow one we have three threads and and most of them two and the rest of this is just a one thread so sometimes you need like just a one like you know one and two you pull it out sometimes it will be more than enough to finish but that's the palette for these colors oh this is cute i love this cute little also i have for my next unboxing i do have some huge canvases as well so uh, maybe next week we will do another unboxing with you but I would love to know before I create my video please let me know if you like me to mix like this um, you know canvas diamond painting and cross stitch or you want me to separate them because I know that uh, many of you still don't want to try cross stitch but lots of you absolutely love to cross stitch and you love diamond painting so you don't have a problems to have both video at once kind of but I, I still would love to see what majority of people like to see uh, I think sometimes it's good to mix so you have both kind of side of both audience to kind of have one video for both uh, craft lovers but I can definitely separate next video if you wish me to so please comment thank you very much everyday crafts for this package everything looks gorgeous amazing and I will be starting on this one for the month of February so stay tuned we will see those gnomes done <laughs> they are cute and happy new year lunar new year for those who celebrate to all my uh, Chinese friends who celebrate this uh, big celebration for you uh, have a wonderful time with your friends and family thank you all and I will see you tomorrow